Good morning guys, it's 6.30 in the morning. It's time for another day of birding. Where I'm trying to film a couple of very rare species that are currently in the Netherlands. My first stop is the Grebbedijk near Wageningen for the moustache wobbler. Third ever record in the Netherlands. And this bird has been seen here for a couple of days. But I couldn't go earlier as both my wife and my daughter are sick. So I had to stay home to take care of them. They are feeling a little bit better, so let's hope they are uh, staying well uh, until the end of the day, so I don't get called home earlier. I'm uh, heading there now, hopefully it will sing, and hopefully we will see it and I can film it. The Grebbedijk is located in the central part of the Netherlands, near the city of Wageningen. Here the bird was found in two small reed beds on the northern side of this road. While searching for the moustache wobbler, I saw this Eurasian wren, which, due to its brown coloration, looks a bit like the moustache wobbler. I've heard the bird singing a couple of times and also seen it flying across the water. But uh, with this species, it's so hard to see in the reeds. It forages low in the reeds, just uh, above the water. So let's hope get opportunity to film it. In this shot you can hear the bird singing. The song looks a lot like that of the Eurasian reed warbler. You also hear a song thrush singing. Then suddenly, Peter Dorn saw the moustache wobbler, and I could get these first shots. After some searching, I saw this blue tit climbing through the reeds, and remembering that the moustache wobbler had an interaction with a blue tit before, I decided to follow it. But shortly after the reed bunting, I got eyes on another bird. Hey, that is him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the center. 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 He's Zit net boven die groene kwarstengel. En dan rechts dan op krachtig. Hij is iets naar rechts gegaan, schiet iets naar links. 15 centimeter rechts van de doedelzak op het water. Maar zit hij stil daar? Oh ja, 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 ja. Ik zie nog wel iets meer mee. Hij zit nog steeds net rechts van die stengel. Ja, nu gaat hij even verder naar rechts. Ja, ja nu uh, boven een andere witte stengel. Hij komt direct volgens mij bij het lager in. Nee, hij zit al een halve meter rechts van die dikke stengel. Daar zit nog een witte rietstengel die heel netjes is afgeknapt. Daar zit hij achter, maar hij zit achter dikke riet. So, I'm back at the car because apparently the battery of the GoPro had died. So I couldn't talk to you in the field. But I'm very happy I got the moustache wobbler on film. A very hard species to film, but I succeeded. I was following a blue tit in the reeds when suddenly I saw something else flying through the reeds 
and then at a spot where we had seen it earlier I saw it again so I shouted to everybody there it is and then I started filming and we could follow it while it was foraging uh, close to the uh, water so happy with it great start of the day it's only uh, half past eight so a lot of time left uh, for some other birds my uh, next stop will be the Homeus Great Grey Strike from the Amsterdam Waterleiding Duinen to give that a third try. Now I had to drive an hour and 20 minutes to my next location, but in the meantime I could phone my wife to check if she and my daughter were feeling any better, which they did. So, I'm at the Amsterdamse Waterleiding Duinen once more. What an effort I have to put in to get this taxon filmed. It uh, doesn't even have uh, split chances as far as I know. But every taxon that is identifiable in the field, I want to film in the Netherlands. I uh, dipped it in January, dipped it in February. So let's hope I will find it now. And also in this video, I couldn't help myself but to film another singing woodlark. Well, it's been two hours since I entered the area. Haven't seen the grey strike. I did came across the Eggvocht. Another birder was also searching since this morning. He also didn't see it. I did came across a group of other birders this morning who did see it and they told them the bird had flown off, but didn't know in which direction. So now Dirk and I are still searching. We uh, agreed we would each go into a separate direction. And if one of us, one of us would see it, we would call each other, so chances are doubled. I'm not giving up yet, but it's getting pretty frustrating. I've just finally found the Homeus Great Grey Strike. Yes, and I've just called uh, Dirk Vocht. I had to call him twice because he didn't pick up the first time. So I'm waiting for him to get here, but the bird has flown, so I have to refine it for Dirk and also to get some better footage. Am I happy with this? Oh man! As it turned out, Dirk is 45 minutes away from the spot where I refound the bird. So I have to wait for him uh, here. Because the priorities in birding for me are one, find the bird, two, get everybody on the bird, and then three, get some good footage. So I'm uh, staying uh, at a large distance of the bird so I don't uh, spook him and it flies off again. Let's hope Dirk is here soon and he sees the bird also. The taxonomy of the great grey shrike is very complex, with many species, subspecies, and variations described and not all taxonomy identities agreeing on how to classify all the different taxons. The Haumea subspecies has a more southeasterly distribution compared to our excubitor. Identification characters of Haumeas are the lack of scaling on the underside, an almost white rump, a large white patch on the secondaries, and a lot of white in the tail with a white base on all tail feathers and with two outer tail feathers being almost completely white. Although there have been more putative Homeus great grey strikes in the Netherlands, for example, a bird that spent a couple of summers in the Vochtelo Veen, in which I saw, this is the first bird to be captured and of which DNA was obtained. But based on current DNA knowledge, the Homeus great grey strike can't be separated from Excubiter. However, with better techniques, this may change in the future. Some people describe this as birding on a university level, and this may not suit everybody. But I find it very interesting, and for me, these observations are part of the Dutch birding history. So, Dirk has finally arrived, 
and just when he arrived I refound the bird so that was very nice he got it on so now quickly to the car and on to my next target I also saw another group of red crested potsharge who wish I could get these low to the ground shots From the Amsterdam's waterleiding down, it was only a 30 minute drive to my next location, Amuiden, where I wanted to see some rare duck species. I am now at the south pier of Amuiden to try and see two species of duck. The rare long-tailed duck and the mega rare ringneck duck. The first ducks I found were this pair of common scoters. Great crested grebes were also present. And of course, some ruddy turnstones could also be found. Here we also see a great crested grebe, but this one is still in winter plumage. I have now reached the end of the pier, but I haven't seen the long-tailed ducks yet. I haven't seen any shack either, so let's hope we'll find them on the way back. On my way back. I saw this great cormorant in breeding plumage, which was catching a lot of food. Couldn't find the long-tailed ducks anywhere, sadly. Spoke to some other birders, who also didn't see them. So, don't know where they are, but I found something cool in the marina. Oh, that was cool. Baiting snow buntings. Haven't seen that before. And also in this light. Perfect. Now up to the ringneck duck. The ringneck duck was very hard to find. Here you can see it behind the common port chart, hiding in the reeds. Identified by the shape and coloration of the flank, with grey on the rear and a white spot on the front. Well, we began the day with a bird that hides in the reeds, and we end the day with a bird that hides in the reeds. I'm giving it uh, 15 more minutes for the bird to swim out in the open so I can get some better footage. But if not, it was a perfect day after all. With the moustache wobbler, the Omeyas Grey Shrike, baiting snow buntings, and also this ringneck duck. If you're new here and you like the video, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also check out the description where I have a list of the best videos I've made in the past. Enjoy!
and until next time.